Alright guys, welcome to my video and we're going to show you how to uh, install the AC3 demodulator on the LaserDisc player through the AV receiver. So, uh, this is my uh, second video of my obscure stuff. Today we're going to show you how to get the AC3 from LaserDisc to the AV receiver properly. So. Uh, what is the AC3? And of course, the full name was the uh, the Audio Codec 3. So this is called the AC3. And full name also the official name was the Dolby Digital. And this is the Dolby AC3 RF out. So this is how the most of Blazer display that released in 1999 onward, and then it come with the AC3 uh, capable player. So all you need to do is we need a, this player with support. Uh, we need a player that support the AC3 RF out. So I got the Pioneer CLD D606, and it's it has the direct CD operation and it has the digital memory for supporting uh, supporting the CLV still frame pause and we got the digital video processing system and it also support the the dual side play and I got the Pioneer receiver VSX329 which doesn't have the AC3 RF in because it's a modern AV receiver and you're gonna need these 5.1 surround sound speakers we got center left right and uh, right surround and left surround sound speakers. And we got the FE channel or subwoofer. This one's very loud and it gave me a little bit uh, shaky here. And one of the most important thing is you need the AC3 RF special decoder or the demodulator so you have the audio receiver with support AC3 RF and you can access to the Dolby soundtracks straight from laser displayer I mean you can connect with coaxial cable connect to the back side and then go to the receiver directly also with another support was we got the sound processors and what we got here so we have the Yamaha APD1 natural sound demodulator so this is how the demodulator looks like as you can see here we have the power button only and demodulate light that indicate laser disc lock the signals and you can see the back side so this is the AC3 RF and so this is coaxial port and things that I'm plugged here this is the Dolby Digital RF signal that transfer into the digital bit stream or transform into the digital signal go to the AC3 uh, digital out toss link cable to my receiver over here uh, probably you can't see it but uh, there he is so how to connect the AC3 RF in uh, into the uh, demodulator here you need the you need a coaxial uh, composite video or any kind of coaxial cable, but I recommend to go to yellow cable. It's directly go up. They carry only one signal, but it's very good to go in. Connect here. Hold on. So after you connect the uh, yellow cable on this demodulator, make sure the entire uh, Installation must turn off first before you set to plug in any equipment to prevent any kind of dangerous consequences. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> sorry. There any any electrical hazard? Sorry. So after the laser disc player was uh, already plugged with AC3 RF signals on to the demodulator and then go to AV receiver. This will detect. Uh, the signal as a digital form it's still blinking that means there's no signal here and then let's turn on the player let 
Wow, that really is. This is what I call the laser disc. It's very huge size. It supports uh, four size. I guess we got the normal laser disc size, LD singles, the CD Wii or CD, and the mini CD. And uh, last up, you need to go with the the movie. So I got feel laser like, so this title with AC3. We have some Mission Impossible here, Claire and Press in Danger, and a uh, lots of great. Uh, I mean, few movies we have AC3. Let's go with GoldenEye. This one probably the best way to watch the. 007 movies with Dolby Digital. This is the first time they would come out. So we have to look for the logo called the AC3 Dolby Surround Sound AC3 Digital. So you have this logo that means this movie support the AC3. But can you watch directly without the demodulator? Of course, yes, but you can't watch or experience on the right analog channel because it's create um, the continuous noise. I mean, on the right side of the speakers, does contain the AC3 that's been encoded and into the modulated form as the analog signal, and you can't play it on the analog only player. So you don't have the uh, digital output or any kind of laser disc player which don't have the uh, optical cable. Well, I mean the toasting output you just out of block. That means you have to experience on the mono signals or some of laser discs like GoldenEye contains the the audio commentary on the analog left which make the movies contains uh information or some behind the scenes and anything that inside the movies that probably the commentary from the director. And this is a CTSX certified laser disc. It's pretty cool release here. I love this movie. You can see a lot of stops here and it's over seven minutes. Oh, sorry, in my video. <coughs> this is the laser disc version of GoldenEye. You can see here. Wait a sec. All right. Closed caption Dolby Surround Stereo. So you can experience Dolby Stereo as well because most of the movies it released in Dolby Digital from the cinemas are encoded with 320 kilobits. Uh, has the because LaserDisc has very little bit low bit rate compared to the DVDs, but is much higher than theatrical bit rate. So you can check on the Wikipedia itself, and you can see here. That the major difference that laser is for Dolby, Dolby Digital for laser is is so close to the DVD, but it holds up very well. Oops, uh, I my I think my player got L one problem, or U one. Ah, maybe just probably rubber band. Let's try that again. Uh come on. All right, my LD was loaded, and after that, you have to turn on the mod later. So the my APD one doesn't show up the light with power offs on or off, but just turn it on and make sure the laser disc will lock to the AC3 signal. So this one will be, uh, the light will come up if the laser disc on the uh, the AC3 laser disc signal was locked and the modulator will be detected detect the signal and then press play and go let's watch some golden eye all right it detect as the dolby digital surround sound so and here the light comes up with ac3 rf and the modulator was ready and locked to the signal and prepared for demodulate. You can see here. Well, believe it or not, look at this. Wow. 
can see here, this is the actual Dolby City trailer. So awesome. In 5.1 surround sound. And you can hear that this is the this is how the laser is and AC3 operated. And you know what? The laser disc was a little bit complicated to get the AC3 signal and then go to the receiver because this is how the reason why the laser disc player was uh, very cool stuff to collect, especially when you want to have the some great movies like Goldeneye have the AC3 soundtrack with perfectly mixed on theatrical version, I mean theatrical mix of the soundtrack. So, if you want to get the Dolby Digital AC3 demodulator, you can get it on eBay, and if you have any information about the laser disc, you can check on the Wikipedia, and of course, the laser disc with AC3 is very easy to find, but the demodulator must, the demodulator might be a little bit hard or rare sometimes but you can go and find it out, check it out so that's the laser this with AC3 soundtrack so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video and if you have any problems or you can comment or like, subscribe and of course I'm not really good at English but I try hard for this thanks for watching